Hi guys, how's it going? It's JP from Bax Music and today I'm having a look at the Manuel Rodriguez Cutaway D model, which is a very interesting nylon strung guitar. Uh, it's equipped with a Fishman Piezo, which I'll walk you through in a moment, um, but essentially an electroacoustic version um, of some of their nylon string guitars. Uh, it's got a couple cool features, but just before I go into it, um, the choice of bodywoods, you have a, a spruce top and it's got this uh, really attractive cedar inlay that feeds into the, into the fretboard. It does actually go up to 21 frets, but I think it's kind of cool that the fretboard cuts away and you only have uh, these higher frets. I think it looks really nice as well. You have this very cool inlay, it's very attractive. And on the, uh, the sides and the back, it's uh, Indian rosewood, but it's finished really nicely. Maybe you'll be able to see that from the top camera with the light. It's a, a very, very nice grain on this particular one, and some of the other models are very similar. Uh, the neck is set, and also you've got uh, more rosewood. Let's have a look at the Fishman preamplifier. It's uh, a piezo equipped, and uh, you've got access to uh, the mic bend control, which I think is probably the coolest thing, and you don't get that in a lot of other preamps. Um, but the fact that there are uh, different microphones and you can change between them is really nice. If you back it off all the way, you've got one microphone, which is very depthy and very bassy. And at the top here, that's what I was using for the intro. It's a bit sparkly, um, but we'll experiment with that and have a listen. You've got a notch control, which controls uh, overall frequencies. So potentially there's a sound you'd like to eliminate depending on what amp you're using. Uh, we're not using a very bright amp, actually. We're using a Fender Deluxe Reverb. It's a 2x12 model, and it's mic'd up with an SM57, uh, which probably isn't the first uh, amp you'd go to for electroacoustic. But you do get a very nice warm vintage sound. But, so by using the notch control, it's really interesting. You can take away uh, some of those unwanted frequencies. So we'll have a play around with that as well. You've got a phase toggle control. And you've also got your three band EQ with your bass, mid, and treble. I've got my bass set around noon. I've got a lot of mids and lots of treble right now. Um, I'm actually currently in the tuner mode. And that actually acts as a bypass. So when you turn it off, you'll have access to the sound. But I'm liking uh, the fact of bypasses. Um, it's very nice, you can hear me a bit better. And uh, of course there's an overall volume control. When you turn up all the way, it is clipping a little bit, so uh, I back it off just a tiny bit and set it to noon. Uh, it's powered with uh, a nine volt battery, just a single nine volt, and uh, the whole preamp doesn't actually add too much weight as well, so it is still nice and light. So let's go ahead and let's tweak around with the preamp settings a little bit, and let's see some different tones that we can dial in. You can hear there's quite a lot of bass frequencies in that region. So as I'm going to turn on that control a little bit now, I'm going to set it just to the maximum to start with, and you'll be able to hear how that sounds. You can really hear that the top end is starting to come out and breathe a little bit more. Uh, the mid-range has shifted around and there's a lot less bass. So let's set it as something which is a little less extreme and a bit more even. And now we're going to experiment with the, uh, the EQ parameter. So I'm going to back off on the mids and treble, which I've been pretty lenient with so far. So let's take away some of the treble and the mid, and uh, the bass will back that down a lot more. We already ha have quite a lot of bass coming from the amplifier. Let's see how things sound now. I'm going to experiment around a little bit more now. So I'm going to turn the volume up and we're going to be strumming a little bit harder and I'm going to show you the nice subtle clipping sound you can get. And maybe if you're looking for something a little bit higher gain, this could be a, a nice opportunity. So if you just turn the volume up a tiny bit, I'm going to bring the bass up as well. So now the acoustics is probably going to be a little bit loud. Let's see how things sound.
So you can hear there, you can get the best of using the microphone combination by toggling the phase on and off. And overall, this Fishman preamp allows you to get a whole variety of sounds by messing around with the EQ. You've got a master volume there as well, so if you'd like to have more uh, of the actual electroacoustic sound, you could turn the volume up and control things in your amplifier as well. So you've got a whole host of different sounds you can experiment with. And of course, you can remove that lead if you want to and just play it like an acoustic. A final point I'd like to add is uh, when you're on stage or if you're playing and things are starting to drown out a little bit, perhaps you've got an electroacoustic because you're playing in more of an electric band, um, you won't need a monitor at all. To hear yourself, there's a very nice projected sound hole on the top. And it's, uh, it comes right up to your face, actually. Um, so all the sound in here uh, is going to come up and you're going to be able to hear yourself, which is very nice. It's nice even just when playing to yourself and you want to hear things a bit better. Uh, but especially when you're just trying to hear yourself uh, in a mix situation, it makes things a bit easier. So overall, a very well thought out acoustic and it's nice to see um, the vintage features and the more traditional features since uh, 1905 that this company has been operating uh, stuck in some very nice modern designs and modern thoughts. So some things to consider. Thanks very much for checking out this demo. If you'd like to hear more about it, you can click on the links above and below and go straight to the product page. Or if you want to see more acoustic demos, electroacoustic demos, guitar amplifier and effect demos, you've come to the right place. So please like our video. You can drop a comment to let us know how we're doing and you can subscribe to our channel for some more future videos. Thanks very much.